Hello and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. This is episode 5 of that prep 70.3 Ironman. Um, in terms of what this video is going to be about, it's going to be a run and a lift. So I'm going to go through loads of different things in terms of training. We're going to head over to JD, get a session in there as well. But yeah, first of all, I've got a 7.6 mile run. But before any of that, let's go and get some food. Also, another thing on the priority list is getting a new lens. So as you can see, this one's quite tight. Um, but in terms of actual YouTube and stuff, I'm actually quite... Getting to the point now where it's not like I need to be so strict to everything. Um, I think just having a chat with you guys is probably a lot easier. Uh, one, for you, just because it's actually a bit more normal. And two, for me, I can actually be just how I want to be. And it's quite casual and it's quite nice. And I've seen a lot easier to edit and stuff like that as well. So just actually chilling with it. Just talk, just talking to the camera, yeah, used to be such a big thing for me. Like, so difficult. I do think I'm quite, like, introverted. Is that the word? Like... Yeah, quite interesting. Like, if I don't know you very well, I'm going to be quite quiet. Uh, and obviously, like, trying to talk to the camera when there's nothing back, like, you're not getting anything back, can be quite difficult. But obviously, the more you do something, the better you're going to get in it. So, since the last video, I'm thinking, what, like, nine days ago? Um, over the Christmas period, I wasn't able to train that much. Like, the deload week that I ended up was, like, one week, turned into two weeks, turned into three weeks. I wouldn't say I trained that much and not as much as I wanted to. Um, obviously, I'm going to be like transparent with it. Like everyone's going to have issues, you know what I'm saying? So for me, like the shin splints are flaring up. Uh, really, something you can just push on with. But overall, just let my body recover massively, which I think is more important um, than always just pushing on. But now we're back, feeling fresh, uh, into a good training week. Started the week on New Year, obviously New Year's Day with a 12k run. I on the evening. I then hit a bike session. Um, that was a 45 minute easy bike just to roll my legs back into it as well. Uh, Tuesday, I then, I then hit a pull session. So then it was 1500 meters straight into gym, uh, obviously for push. I managed to get like 120 for four on the bench. Really happy with that. Swim kind of did take it out of me a little bit. I was like, what the hell? I uh, wasn't, wasn't expecting like, even the 50 meters because obviously I hadn't swam for like two, three weeks. Uh, we just had a complete rest for everything, body was sore. And um, that's one thing I found like my technique in terms of swimming, I can actually swim quite well now. So that's pretty much what I've got up to at the start of this week. And as it's a, like a, quite a big run, I don't wanna have a lot of food. So I'm gonna go for bagels and peanut butter. So this is pre-run breakfast. Uh, obviously I have a bigger protein breakfast when I come home, but as you can see four bagels uh, and then peanut butter. I just wanna show you guys the new racing trainers for the Ironman. If you haven't seen them on my Instagram or TikTok already, you're in for a shock. Look how bright these are. These are the new um, Next% Percent 2s uh, Alpha Flies. Getting quite a few questions at the moment, obviously, off Instagram reels and stuff, on the shades I'm using. So currently, these are high strides. Um, these guys sent me out a few pairs uh, recently. They come in a box like that. Um, obviously, then you have all of this as well. Um, travel case, and then obviously the shades themselves literally talk for themselves do you know what i mean like look at that like, the quality is unbelievable so as it is a long run we're going to be focusing on a, obviously it's an easy 75 minute run so we're going to be aiming towards you know staying in zone two level uh, for heart rate uh, because of that and obviously since running i'm actually learning a lot more about like types of trainers all that kind of stuff so three trainers i use at the moment are the Sacconis for long runs the tempos for my faster runs and then obviously then my alpha flies for like obviously race day when it comes to it. I am going to sign up to a half marathon and obviously some 10Ks as well. Um, I hope before my Ironman, I think it might be a good idea. But yeah, we'll go from there. Let's go. Currently 4K in. So whatever that is in miles, it's a 12.3 kilometer run like I've done already this week. Um, so I'm still trying to work out my conversions to miles and kilometers and all that. But yeah, feeling fine to be fair. Like, as you can see, like talking very well. But yeah, currently feeling good. I'm just putting in the graft. Let's go. That's run complete, run finished. Felt strong the whole time, to be fair. Um, it's very hard, obviously, trying to vlog it at the same time because you want to keep the pace, making sure of all that. So make sure the run's done and then obviously jump back on the camera uh, and get any clips that I can in the meantime. But yeah, really, really happy with that. Um, obviously, with how much work I'm trying to put in, just making sure that the body's recovered. So now we're going to go home have plenty of protein, have my foods that I need to eat, and then we're going to hit the gym session, and I'll see you there. So just on the way now to the gym. Literally feel like Sam Sulek. I've literally got the mic on the side. I can see why he does it. It's very simple. In terms of what's going to happen in the gym today, uh, and obviously with the run that I've just done, came back, got some food, uh, currently sipping on an ESN protein shake as well. So we're going to be having that fit. Eight grams of protein. Really, really simple. Obviously, while you're in a rush as well, there's nothing better. Uh, but in terms of in the gym today, going to look to go heavy. So I've got like lat pull downs, uh, T-bar row, dumbbell rows, and then going into like, arms, etc. with biceps. 
uh, and we'll also have a look at some other stuff in the upper session that I always do on a Wednesday. Um, won't be going CrossFit tonight just due to how much work and stuff we've got to do and also I want to make sure I've got posts out uh, on Instagram and also I want to edit this YouTube um, but in terms of that I think the 12k run 12.9k which turned out to be in the end has took out of me as well so I've got, got to be careful in terms of how much stuff I'm doing and they're not burning out because where I live is like really really rural so the most annoying thing ever is having to drive like 40 50 minutes away to the gyms that are good the run I was really happy with at a certain pace now like before I'd be pushing I'd be, I'd be pushing a pace where now it's quite easy to, to maintain um, shows that you're getting fitter and if you're like looking to start running I'd always suggest you know going out slow trying it uh, making sure that you know you've got the right running trainers and if you haven't making sure you invest in some the next thing you do after I think you get your trainers and you start to enjoy the runs to start off with is you get a watch so obviously I'm, I'm using a Phoenix uh, a Phoenix 6 Pro Solar at the moment um, I would get the Phoenix 7 uh, I am looking towards getting one of those I think once I've really grasped the whole idea of it uh, but with the Garmin Connect obviously it all connects to your Strava uh, if you follow my Strava down here as well um, all my runs and everything on my gym sessions my swims and bike are all going to be on there so if you are interested in the 70 point free prep it's all down there as well uh, but yeah in terms of all that like a, a watch will help you track and see how far you're running how far uh, how fast you're going if you need to pull it back etc and that's probably the best way to help your development uh, and then obviously the next stage from that on then is getting a coach uh, getting a coach around the running making sure they know what they're doing um, so to help program you to be the best you can be uh, and obviously that's that's one of the main things that I'm now bringing into my coaching so I've obviously got my lifestyle coaching which is for people who want to say drop fat build muscle all that kind of stuff but I'm also now bringing into the idea obviously with my training that I really resonate with with the hybrid stuff so what we're going to say for that you run you lift if you want to swim if you want to bike well, I've obviously got a good background um, in terms of doing my half Ironman seeing what training it takes in order to get to that level um, but in terms of wanting to do hybrid uh, running running and lifting I think that's absolutely perfect for a lot of people but I'll catch you at the gym and we'll go from there so starting off the session um, going into obviously upper day so lap pull downs to start and then we're going to a t-ball row like I mentioned earlier uh, then into one more back movement probably like a face pull uh, using the ropes and then finally finish off with arms and that'll be the day in terms of sessions complete yeah enjoy the session and I'll catch you after If you've noticed anything different, um, the reason the video is late is that I had to sort out the lens. I couldn't film any longer on that lens doing this YouTube. So obviously I want to push it as much as I can. So obviously I've got to invest in it. So new lens, a lot wider. The camera is so close to me, uh, but yeah, it looks so far away, which is so, so sick. So you haven't got to deal with my mug right up in your face all the time. Um, but yeah, in episode six, we're going to go through some of the struggles that I'm now facing uh, as we get closer to the race of the 70.3 in Bolton. Um, just a quick one from Siri. Hey Siri, how many days until the 30th of June? It's 172 days until then. And that's how long we've got to prep. So 172 days, get dialed in, get everything as best as it can be. Swimming is good at the moment, um, obviously. Bike, not so good. Uh, and obviously running is in a good place as well. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.